Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we want to talk about the amazing oriental herb, astragalus. Astragalus is one of the foundational herbs in China, meaning it's used for many, many different health conditions. It is capable of helping you in your suffering. Please stay tuned to learn about astragalus. That's our topic for today. But first, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Younger cancer survivors are at heightened risk of becoming unemployed and economically dependent later in life. Researchers from the University of Bergen in Norway used data from the Norwegian National Registry to evaluate the economic and work performance of cancer survivors born between 1965 and 1985. To qualify for the study, the subjects had to have been diagnosed with cancer before 25 years of age. They found the young cancer survivors were at 40% increased risk of becoming unemployed and 40% more likely to require governmental assistance later in life. The study also found female cancer survivors were more likely to encounter financial hardships than men. The study was published by Cancer. The results of this study help us to better understand the challenges of overcoming cancer are not over or, or even when we are told our cancer is now in remission. Young people who have been diagnosed with cancer and who have been beat the disease continued to face hardships as this study found they were 40 percent more likely to become unemployed and require governmental assistance later in life. The author of the study, a practicing pediatric oncologist, blames this problem on cancer treatments aggressive and toxic nature that often permanently changes the way our bodies respond to stress and infection. Radical surgery and toxic chemical concoctions are the norm in oncology, and to be honest, it is amazing that so many children survive these treatments, but they do survive. In today's world, over 90% of all American children stricken with cancer will survive and go on to face the next stage that all cancer survivors must face, and that is facing life's challenges with the wounds and scars created by successful cancer treatment. Now, we cancer survivors often feel guilty or even ashamed of our success when so many others die of cancer. It is hard for us to complain, but we must because cancer therapies need to become more effective with less toxicity so that we have a better chance of returning to a near normal life. And I must unequivocally state, our cancer treatments are improving. With each passing year, they're improving. So there is most definitely hope for those with cancer. Part of what is missing from standard cancer therapy is the integration of natural measures, such as antioxidants and immune-boosting agents. These measures reduce toxicity and lessen the risk of permanent disability. I welcome the day when nutrition becomes the standard of care in cancer treatment. A supplemental nutrition program and exercise may help depressed soldiers returning home after combat tours of duty. Researchers from Texas A&M University evaluated 100 male soldiers for their nutrient status, physical fitness, and psychological well-being. They found as fitness levels and vitamin D along with omega-3 fatty acid blood levels drop, the likelihood the combat veteran would also display the symptoms of depression increased. The pattern was so strong that if deficiency was present, four out of five soldiers would also be diagnosed as being depressed. The team of researchers are currently working on a nutritional and exercise plan to help veterans of combat better recover from their experiences. The study was published by Military Medicine. Folks, the mental health of American combat veterans is a major program, problem in the world today that no one seems to be willing to talk about. Did you know that every day, 20 depressed American combat veterans commit suicide, 20, every day. And this study exposed one of the fundamental reasons why so many are suffering. They return from duty malnourished and physically out of shape. This leaves the door wide open for severe and advanced depression, so severe that the soldier believes the only way out is by death. This is terrible and it's tragic and something must be done. Currently, the standard of care for treating combat-related depression is antidepressants, mood-stabilizing drugs, sedatives, and narcotic pain relievers. Now, these drugs obviously have their place, but no drug can do what regular outdoor exercise and healthy levels of vitamin D, the omega-3s, and I may add the essential B vitamins. What these can do, what these agents can do, nothing can. Now, this is what is missing. And this is what we must do to help these men and women. Now, one last comment on this subject. Our soldiers do not decide when America goes to war. 
That is the job of our elected leaders. If you do not agree with our military's actions, do not blame the soldiers. Elect new leaders. But we must always care for our returning soldiers. Restoring sleep is key to relieving pain. Researchers from the University of Warwick evaluated the sleep patterns and the attitudes of chronic pain patients. They found patients suffering from conditions such as fibromyalgia, chronic back and neck pain, and arthritis typically have negative thoughts about sleep and the likelihood of achieving a restful night's sleep. The researchers found the negative attitudes toward sleep patterns in chronic pain patients was so strong that they suggest chronic pain cannot be relieved until attitudes change and restful sleep is restored. The study was published by the Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine. Related research presented by the American Academy of Neurology finds if your neighborhood is well lit at night, you are more likely to experience less rewarding sleep and your overall sleep time will be shorter. Overall, of those who sleep in a brightly lit city setting, 29% report sleep dissatisfaction compared with just 16% of rural sleepers. Well, folks, when it comes to sleep, even little things matter, like the endless beams of light coming into your sleep quarters from the bright street lights in your neighborhood. And as we have learned, if you are in chronic pain, poor sleep quality and little of it is your nightly pattern. The authors of our first study report it is virtually impossible to overcome chronic pain if your sleep is short and unrewarding. Now one might think that this study would conclude all of those in chronic pain should take a sleeping pill to help restore restful sleep, but that is not their conclusion as those in pain develop tolerance quickly to sleeping pills. If they found if chronic pain patients restructured their attitudes about sleep, it helped immensely. Meaning if we stop telling ourselves, I can't sleep, but rather say, tonight I will sleep like a baby, it really does help over time and with practice. And one of the productive things we can do to improve our sleep is to darken the room, shutting out all outside light, leaving on only a small night light to help assure bathroom visits are achieved safely. Also taking a well-balanced supplement plan, including the omega-3s, vitamin D, the calming B vitamins, along with pain-relieving noni and sleep-inducing melatonin will help to restore rejuvenating sleep like no drug can. Words to the wise folks, don't live your life in pain. Today on Your Health, we'd like to discuss the remarkable herb astragalus. Stay tuned to learn more. You may have heard the saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It's true. I'm Dr. Richard Becker. And I'm Cindy Becker. Autumn is a time of transition. It's the perfect time to renew your dedication to healthy living. This September, we're excited to bring you our fall savings celebration here at BioInnovations. Perhaps you've heard about the health benefits of supplements. In many cases, they can make a big difference. During September, Dr. Becker's Spa Nutrients are up to 40% off. Noni Natural Skin Care and Spa Therapy are 40% off. And Aloha Noni and Acai are still 50% off by the case. And you get free shipping with orders over $50 in the continental U.S. This is a good time to restart a program of nutrition, exercise, and supplements because an ounce of prevention really is worth a pound of cure. Order online or call 888-442-2128 and let BioInnovations assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Do you suffer from cramps, gas, bloating, or other digestive troubles? How about fatigue, depression, and headaches? All these symptoms could be caused by a condition called lactose intolerance. Your body doesn't digest lactose, the sugar found in milk and other dairy products. As a result, you can suffer from a wide variety of symptoms. If you often experience digestive problems, fatigue, depression, or headaches following meals, try avoiding dairy for a week or two and see if your symptoms lessen or go away. All of the nutrients found in dairy, including calcium, are present in sufficient amounts in other foods. So if you find that you are lactose intolerant, you can safely avoid dairy and still enjoy complete nutrition. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. For centuries, the herb astragalus has been a staple of traditional Chinese medicine. It's used to create a strong shield, protecting the immune system. 
Astragalus is also used to support healthy heart and lung function. There's even more. Astragalus helps to calm total body inflammation, a common cause of pain and chronic illness. All of that without the use of medication. That's right. Support your health the way nature intended with Astragalus root. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Astragalus Root Extract. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net and see what Astragalus can do for your health. That number once again is 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Call today. Welcome back, everyone. It is fabulous to be with you today. We're going to learn so much today about how you can improve your total health. We're going to be talking about an amazing herb called astragalus. And as Richard says, this is a foundational herb in Chinese medicine. It is really, it's just amazing at, at helping nutritionally support so many different body systems, especially your immunity. And don't we want strong immune systems so we can fight off disease? I know I do. So Richard, where do you want to start on astragalus? Astragalus membranaceous. That's what the scientists call it. But we also have different names for it, common names, milk vetch, yellow leader, Hung Kwai. There's also a preparation, a pharmaceutical preparation called Astraguli Radix. This is a, a, a form that's exceptionally pure. It's used in a hospital setting and even in an intravenous form. And uh, this is widely used in the Orient. But what we use here in America is almost always known as is just astragalus. And that's fine if we just call it that. Astragalus is a member of the Fabacea family of plants. This is the legume family, the bean family. And the unique thing about beans is that in the root system of the legume are nodules. And these nodules contain bacteria that live there symbiotically. And the bacteria provide a second set of genetic material to the plant, and this allows the plant and the bacteria together to make complex molecules that plants don't ordinarily make. This is the essence of why uh, legume plants are so important to humans. And of course, the beans plant, all bean plants do this, and this is the reason why beans have more protein. But they also can make other molecules, such as the astragalus plant. Uh, the, this legume phenomena, the symbiotic relationship in the nodule of the plant creates diverse and complex molecules not normally found in plants. The dried yellow root of astragalus harvested at four years of age is the medicinal com component. No other part of the plant is used medicinally, just the root. And you'll see the root is a, a, a woody stem looking substance and it's cut in slats in this natural form and it looks like a little a little chunk of wood that you might use to shim something that's basically what it looks like it is one of the 50 foundational fundamental herbs in chinese medicine and in chinese medicine it's referred to as a king herb and this means it's used in combination with others. We start with the stragglus, it's the king herb, and then we complement it with several different herbal preparations. And this is completely different than how Western medicine approaches uh, the treatment of disease. We want a single agent that we can uh, prove with scientific studies exactly what it's doing. But that's not the herbal way of treating disease, is it? So I want to make you aware of that because it plays a role in our research. So much of the Chinese research that has been done on this remarkable herb is done with multiple herbs, and it's hard to say what's doing what, but there's still information to be gained. You know, when we treat a sick person, we rarely treat them with one thing, right? If you're in the hospital, if you're that sick, there's multiple things going on. So our treatments are always multifaceted, but to investigate these agents, scientists like to pick it apart. And I don't want to overdo this issue, but uh, it's important to understand that distinction. Astragalus has been around a long, long time, and it's been used successfully 
at least 5,000 years, the first writings of civilization revealed the Yellow Emperor's text of internal medicine, 3500 BC. This is the start of civilization, folks. They were using astragalus even in those ancient days. If we go to America today, the Institutes of Medicine, there are about 7,500 research articles that at least mention or delve specifically into the attributes of astragalus, 22 double-blind studies at the Institutes of Medicine. But if we go on a global stage. Go to Google Scholar, Google Scholar, which searches the worldwide database. There's well over 100,000 different research articles and 1,250 double-blind placebo-controlled studies on astragalus, and many of them are used as a foundational herb with complementary herbs in the mix. Now, that research is typically discredited by American doctors, and that is unfortunate because there's much to be learned from that, even though it's hard to tell what's doing what. The active components of astragalus include polysaccharides. These are beta-glucan-like molecules. We don't use this for glucose, even though it is a polysaccharide. Glycosides, these are active molecules attached to glucose. The body recognizes the glucose, and it pulls it in and says, I need that glucose. I can use that. But it also brings a medicinal agent with it that you normally would not absorb. This is one of the unique attributes of astragalus. These saponins, these are glycosides that have similar properties to digoxin, or linoxin is a brand name, that help the heart to pump more effectively. It's not digitalis, it's not digoxin, it's not linoxin, it's none of that. <laughs> but it's similar, and it has similar properties, hence the use of astragalus in heart failure and in other heart conditions. It has triterpenoids. These are precursors to steroid hormones like our testosterone, estrogen, uh, progesterone. There's no hormone in it. It's plant-based. There's no cholesterol in it, but it's a precursor, and it acts similarly. That's how we modulate the hormonal system with astragalus. Flavonoids and isoflavones, these are powerful antioxidants known to modulate the immune response and to protect us from aging and uh, vascular disease and to help in cancer therapy, etc. Phytosterols, these are also cholesterol mimicking uh, substances that lower cardiovascular disease risk and of course essential oils. Now, you can forget all of that. That's for the chemist to know and a scientist to know. In Chinese medicine, astragalus stabilizes the exterior, creates a defensive shield, prevents disease. It speeds healing. It's useful in the treatment of diabetes. It's used to treat a pale face, weak extremities, and dizziness. If you can remember that summary, you can use astragalus effectively in the care of your family. Let's repeat it. Used to treat a pale face, You've, we've all seen somebody who's just washed out, pale and tired and worn out. The pale face. Create a strong exterior to ward off disease. This is how the Chinese have treated astragalus. That's how they recognize the need for astragalus. In Western medicine, we have enough information now, abundant information to show that astragalus acts as an anti-inflammatory. It boosts the immune response. It slows or prevents the growth of cancerous tumors. It protects the cardiovascular system and helps the heart to beat more efficiently. It regulates and prevents diabetes-related complications. It acts as a powerful antioxidant and anti-aging remedy. It improves wound healing and recovery from stress and injury. These, uh, studies on all these. These are not suppositions. These are facts proven by science. Reduces the toxicity of cancer chemotherapy while it improves treatment outcomes in cancer, reduces the risk of colds and viral illnesses, reduces airway reactivity and asthma while improving allergies, and astragalus improves organ function. I'm talking about the heart, the liver, the kidneys, the pancreas, all of them have been shown to improve with astragalus administration. Now, let's go to our break now. But when we return, we have 10 brand new studies that I want to share with you that will complement our established knowledge on astragalus. What's new in astragalus research? That's next. You may have heard the saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It's true. I'm Dr. Richard Becker. 
And I'm Cindy Becker. Autumn is a time of transition. It's the perfect time to renew your dedication to healthy living. This September, we're excited to bring you our fall savings celebration here at BioInnovations. Perhaps you've heard about the health benefits of supplements. In many cases, they can make a big difference. During September, Dr. Becker's Spa Nutrients are up to 40% off. Noni Natural Skin Care and Spa Therapy are 40% off. And Aloha Noni and Acai are still 50% off by the case. And you get free shipping with orders over $50 in the continental U.S. This is a good time to restart a program of nutrition, exercise, and supplements because an ounce of prevention really is worth a pound of cure. Order online or call 888-442-2128 and let BioInnovations assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker, and this is Your Health at a Glance. The next time you're buying meat, look for low-fat, uncured, unprocessed meat in its natural state. Why? A low-fat, natural meat diet could be the healthiest of all. Research from Harvard University compared processed meat diets with natural meat diets. The extensive study involved more than a million people in 10 countries. The scientists discovered a diet of processed meat that contains preservatives and nitrate curing agents such as bacon, sausage, and deli meats increased the risk of heart disease by 42% and diabetes by 19%. They also found natural meats free of these curing and preserving agents did not raise the risk of heart disease or diabetes at all. So shop for lean uncured meats free of additives and in their natural state. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. We're back, everyone, talking about Astragalus membranaceus, an amazing, amazing foundational herb. So, Richard, you have some new studies. I know you, you made mention in that first segment on the show that there are literally thousands. There are. Thousands there are. of studies. But you do have some new ones, and it's great when new things come out because yes. it really brings it home to how this nutrient might help us. Yes. The vast majority of what we talk about today is research on the single agent Astragalus. I have a couple that have been combined, but we'll... we'll um, clarify that when we get to it. First one, the journal Ethnopharmacology, review of 25 previous studies on astragalus and diabetes. They've been able to show with 25 good studies it protects the kidney by decreasing blood urea nitrogen, that's the nitrog nitrogenous byproducts that build up and can turn toxic if we don't clear it out in diabetes, it leads to renal dialysis. We want to keep that BUN low. Serum creatinine stays down and increasing creatinine, it increases the creatinine clearance. It improves the function of the organ, the kidney. While it decreases urine protein, diabetics, you know what the doctor does. They take a sample of your urine and they check it for protein. How's your protein in your urine? If you're spilling protein, it means you're not controlling your diabetes, right? Well, if you take astragalus, you will have less protein in your urine and it will improve the protein in your bloodstream because all that protein in your bloodstream tends to leak out in the urine and that is very taxing and stressful on the diabetic. Stragulus improves all that. Isn't that remarkable? 25 studies now. Next, clinical and investigative medicine. Double blind placebo controlled advanced cancer patients with severe fatigue. 
You're alive, you're beating cancer, but you're so tired, you really can't lift your head up off the table. I've been there, it's tough, it's hard, it's hard to deal with that. 82% who took the astragalus experienced relief from the severe fatigue. And 71% of those who did not experience relief with the first cycle of astragalus received relief with the second. And the relief was sustained. Astragalus improves the fatigue of cancer and cancer therapy. And it does it quite remarkably well, I might add. Next, phytotherapy research, double-blind, placebo-controlled, moderate to severe allergic rhinitis. Who doesn't get this in the spring and fall, especially here in Texas? Astragalus significantly reduced severity of rhinorrhea, that's the runny nose of allergies, while it reduced total symptom scores. Worth doing for allergies. Journal of Agriculture and Food Chemistry, study of human cells in vitro. This is a test tube study of human cells. Astragalus reduced inflammation by at least four mechanisms. Calming inflammation throughout the body is very important in the diseases of degeneration that we have so frequently today. And they were able to identify the active compounds and the mechanism by how these compounds reduced inflammation. You reduce your inflammation, folks, you reduce your pain. Don't live life in pain. We have ways to help you get out of it, and they don't require narcotics. In fact, the most effective treatments for pain have nothing to do with narcotics. Journal of Integrative Medicine, review of six trials in 639 patients with viral myocarditis. This is very serious. Coxsackie virus and various things can get into the heart, and you can die from this. And it's very painful, and boy, is it stressful, because young people can get it, older people can get it. When an astragalus is combined with the standard treatments that the doctor may prescribe for viral myocard heart infection, it improves clinical outcomes. Why would we not do this? if it makes things better, and it does. This is six trials, 639 cases. The American Journal of Chinese Medicine, this one is right off the press, review of all the available science on the use of astragalus in the inflammation-based disease and intestinal cancers. If you're at high levels of inflammation, you're more likely to have intestinal cancers. What disease does that remind me of? Diabetes. Astragalus reduces inflammation, reduces the toxicity of established cancer therapies. You're better tolerant of these therapies. Mechanisms have been identified and clarified. Europe, PMC, another one right off the press. Review of science on astragalus's antioxidant activity in human. Astragalus protects the heart, the brain, the kidney, the intestines, the liver, and the lung from reactive oxygen species. These are these free radicals. And they identified the molecules and the mechanisms responsible. See, this is a far cry from identifying a pale face, isn't it? But when you see that pale face, you know what may help, and now you know how astragalus helps. Isn't this amazing? I love this stuff. You know why I love it? Because I know it's going to help you. Evidence-based complementary and alternative medicine. Human study of astragalus' effect on the immune system. Get this, astragalus creates a dose-related response, meaning a little will do a little good and a lot will do a lot good. Dose-related response by increasing monocytes, that's a type of white blood cell, neutrophils, another type, lymphocytes, platelets, cytokines, interferon, tumor necrosis factor, and interleukins. That's the immune response. If you're fighting a, a desperate infection and you need all you can muster to get over it, astragalus should be part of this for you because you can increase that dose and get an even. This, uh, this study was really remarkable, and they followed these. We give them a big dose, IV, and you can do it orally, no problem, and then they followed this response, and it was consistent from case to case to case. Each study subject showed the same basic response. The International Journal of Biological Macromolecules, review of all the literature explaining the polysaccharides. These are the beta-glucan-like molecules in astragalus. They act as immune modulators. If your immunity is down, it'll bring it up. If it's hyperactive, like autoimmune disease, it'll help bring it down. That is so misunderstood, and I always want to take the time to explain that. Autoimmune disease can take immune modulators. We want to do that. It helps to calm it down and react more appropriately. Lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, Hashimoto's disease of the thyroid, all these autoimmune diseases, we can calm them down with natural measures. We don't always have to use steroids. They are so damaging. If people only knew how damaging these steroids are, they wouldn't just rush right into them. 
but they are effective in making, oh, I feel better today, but what about the side effects of tomorrow? Go to astragalus. Try that one first. Antioxidants. They act as antioxidants, anti-tumor, anti-diabetic, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, anti-atherosclerosis, liver protective, blood builders, and brain protectors. These are all the attributes of the chemistry of astragalus. No wonder the Chinese have used this for over 5,000 years. It's a remarkable substance. The last one of the new ones. This is a human study from Phytomedicine. Astragalus improves the skin's hyaluronic acid content, thereby decreasing the visible signs of aging. Now, there are so many people who want to improve and maintain their youthful glow, and I get that. But you know, it's not just about what's on the outside and putting goos and lotions on the skin. Beauty really comes in health. Youthful vitality comes from the inside. You can improve the skin integrity with internal herbs. Astragalus is one of the best. We have more on astragalus when we return. You may have heard the saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It's true. I'm Dr. Richard Becker. And I'm Cindy Becker. Autumn is a time of transition. It's the perfect time to renew your dedication to healthy living. This September, we're excited to bring you our fall savings celebration here at BioInnovations. Perhaps you've heard about the health benefits of supplements. In many cases, they can make a big difference. During September, Dr. Becker Spa Nutrients are up to 40% off. Noni Natural Skin Care and Spa Therapy are 40% off. And Aloha Noni and Acai are still 50% off by the case. And you get free shipping with orders over $50 in the continental U.S. This is a good time to restart a program of nutrition, exercise, and supplements because an ounce of prevention really is worth a pound of cure. Order online or call 888-442-2128 and let BioInnovations assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. High cholesterol raises your risk for cardiovascular disease, but it's just one risk factor among many. And the need to lower your cholesterol can be over-exaggerated. Everywhere in the media we see advertisements for cholesterol-lowering prescription drugs. It's a big business. Now, cardiovascular disease kills more Americans than any other disease, so we need to pay attention to all the risk factors for heart disease. Here's a prevention strategy. Besides lowering your cholesterol, treat high blood pressure. Stop all tobacco, manage diabetes, exercise regularly to stay fit, avoid sugar, eat fish and fresh fruits and vegetables. Take your daily vitamin and use omega-3 oils. Address all your risk factors, not just your cholesterol. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. We're back, everyone. I've got to let you know it is fall savings celebration at BioInnovations and great prices, best prices of the season, and free shipping on your orders over $50. Of course, that's the mainland USA, but you've got to take advantage of that. You can really, really get all that you need for your total health plan. Isn't this amazing information on astragalus? These studies are incredible. Richard, who knew? I mean, we knew that astragalus was good for us. And yes. in the previous programs yes. we've done, have been actually quite thorough. But these new studies even bring more to light. Yes, and, and thank, 
goodness for our dedicated researchers, no stone unturned, because these are all tools that can be used effectively in the human condition. And boy, do we have a condition, right folks? Boy, there are a lot of people needing help out there. Next, now, now we're gonna go back to more established and built upon research to get, keep you up to date on astragalus. Evidence-based complementary medicine astragalus improves outcome in hemorrhagic stroke. If you're on astragalus going into a stroke, you're gonna come out of it better. This was a 68 patient uh, study and that's quite impressive. It protects organs, improves organs. Remember, kind of keep that categorization there and it'll help you remember these things. Phytotherapy research. When astragalus is combined with Fulfox, that's a combination chemotherapy used for colorectal cancer and that's a tough one to treat, especially if it's metastasized. It improves the tumor response it improves the likelihood that you'll be alive in one year. It improves the quality of life of the cancer patient while it reduces chemotherapy side effects. The reduced white counts that occur with chemotherapy, nausea and neurotoxicity, all is improved with astragalus. It is a great complement to cancer therapy. Great compliment. Ethnopharmacology, double-blind placebo-controlled. Astragalus is an effective diuretic that will not alter electrolytes over time. Now, how many of you are on a diuretic and every six months you're in the hospital because your potassium's off and your heart's fluttering and you got leg like, cramps and all? It's terrible. Uh, diuretics can save lives, but they are among the most commonly used medicines in America and they are among the most commonly used medicines that cause problems with electrolyte problems, et cetera, et cetera. Astragalus is a diuretic that will not alter your electrolytes. What a great thing to know. Get a little puffy when you have a little salt occasionally. Well, reduce your salt, of course. But take a little astragalus, get rid of that fluid with no alteration in your potassium or your magnesium levels. That is a godsend. It's a wonderful thing. Fluid and astragalus. It helps with the fluids. Phytotherapy, double-blind placebo-controlled astragalus increases CD25 expression, explaining in part how astragalus activates and modulates the immune system. They just went into the technical aspects of how astragalus improves the immune response, and they explained it all. It's really quite remarkable. Evidence-based complementary and alternative medicine, astragalus is better than prednisone in children with an upper respiratory tract that have nephrotic syndrome. I don't have time to explain all this, but if you have a loved one with nephrotic syndrome, you know that they have to take steroids when they have any infection or their kidneys may just completely fail. They found in this evidence-based complementary and alternative medicine study that astragalus worked better than the steroid without the steroid side effects. Chinese medical research, this is a combination of many projects. Astragalus improves microvascular renal blood flow blood flow to the kidney, improves glomerular renal blood flow, improves glomerular filtration rate, modulates vasoactive substances, nitric oxide and angiotensin. This is for the diabetic and others with kidney problems. Increases the expression of vascular epithelial growth factor. These are all good things. And it decreases intracellular calcium loss, making it a useful treatment in retarding the progression of diabetic kidney disease. Rich Schneider, our nephrologist who's been on this program, written multiple books, he loves astragalus. He can't stop talking about it, and now I understand why after reviewing the research. Evidence-based complementary alternative medicine. Astragalus shows great promise in both the treatment of diabetes 1 and 2 due to its glucan and flavonoid and polyphenol content. Ethnopharmacology, review of Chinese database, 25 controlled trials. Imagine the resources, 25 controlled trials. Astragalus is kidney protective, decreases serum creatinine, improves creatinine clearance. These are how the kidney works. Decreases urine protein while improves serum albumin. Biomed chromatography, review of Chinese database. There's enough evidence to use astragalus and milk thistle now, milk thistle in liver disease. Astragalus and milk thistle in liver disease. I'm talking about hep C, hepatitis A, cirrhosis, you name the liver condition, uh, uh, acute toxic poisoning, damage to the liver from say you eat the wrong kinds of mushrooms out in the forest, whatever it is, whatever the liver condition, diabetes creates a liver condition. Milk thistle and astragalus. Remember, astragalus is the king herb. We complement it with other herbs.
Now you're using smart medicine. Now you're, now you're getting stuff done. I love that. Phytotherapy research, the Stragglers Review shows it stimulates bone and blood vessel regeneration. And it does so via vascular endothelial growth factor, trauma, massive trauma, car wrecks, industrial accidents, you know, all the ways that life can go bad fast. It could just change in an instant. Help these people recover with a strong exterior. See, the pale face. You can imagine the pale face and massive trauma, you know, one week out. Oh, pale. There's your indication. Astragalus, and it's safe to use. Journal of Traditional Chinese Medicine, the Astragalus Review of Chinese Database shows broad application of astragalus to cardiovascular disease, GI disease, and cancers of a wide variety. Wide variety. Now, let's go to our break, and we have our summary. Who should consider taking astragalus? How much do you take? Uh, these are all important components of using astragalus wisely, and we'll do that when we return. You may have heard the saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It's true. I'm Dr. Richard Becker. And I'm Cindy Becker. Autumn is a time of transition. It's the perfect time to renew your dedication to healthy living. This September, we're excited to bring you our fall savings celebration here at BioInnovations. Perhaps you've heard about the health benefits of supplements. In many cases, they can make a big difference. During September, Dr. Becker's Spa Nutrients are up to 40% off. Noni Natural Skin Care and Spa Therapy are 40% off. And Aloha Noni and Acai are still 50% off by the case. And you get free shipping with orders over $50 in the continental U.S. This is a good time to restart a program of nutrition, exercise, and supplements because an ounce of prevention really is worth a pound of cure. Order online or call 888-442-2128 and let BioInnovations assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Is our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. Christian counselor Dr. Henry Brandt wrote, to dwell above with the saints we love, that will be grace and glory. But to live below with the saints we know, well, that's another story. Throughout our lives, we encounter difficult people. These souls challenge the best of us. But the Apostle Paul suggested that we maintain our grace in spite of the actions of others. Paul wrote, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Paul acknowledged it may not be possible in all cases, but we should still do our best. Try to look at difficult people through Christ's eyes. Remember his sacrifice was for everyone, even those saints we know who challenge us. I'm Cindy Becker. This is our hope for you today. Every day, about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important. It protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioInnovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back. Just a quick reminder, it is fall savings celebration at BioNovations. Fantastic prices and free shipping on your orders over $50, so don't miss that one. This amazing, amazing research on astragalus has caught my attention. I hope it has yours. So, Richard, the next section is really important because, you know, our seniors fight 
the daily stresses. They yes. fight so many diseases yes. and diet, and so many of them live in assisted living places, and maybe they don't get to control their diet as much as they would like to, right. et cetera, et cetera. So now, let's talk about how astragalus might could help them with their immunity. Well, this is one of the phenomena of aging, is that we begin to lose that lifelong built-up stored memory of immune reaction. You know, uh, uh, agents that we used to have immunity to, now we're susceptible to them again. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of a scary thought. I have to have all that stuff again. What if I'm not strong enough to endure that pneumonia? And sure enough, pneumonia is a leading cause of death in seniors. So what can we do? Astragalus can help with this. Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Hong Kong did an animal study. They started with this, and they found that astragalus markedly increased antibody production in the laboratory animals. It restored an old mouse's immune response to that of a young mouse. Astragalus did this. It partially restored immune function in mice with tumors. You know, if the mouse had cancer, it improved their immune response. And those treated with immune suppressant drugs to replicate a cancer therapy. Uh, collectively, astragalus shows immune modulating and immune restorative effects in vitro and in vivo. And now that series has been repeated in humans by the same researchers. Astragalus restores the immune response in seniors to that one more closely resembling their youth and vitality. Now, there's no fountain of youth as, as Ponce de Leon hoped for, but these agents make a distinct difference. They proved it with that line of research. Here's another interesting one, astragalus extract TA65. They take out certain molecular components of astragalus, they call it a drug. And they found that this drug from astragalus, which you can get by taking the whole herb, the whole herb root, you get that. It lengthens the telomeres in your white blood cells, the natural killer cells, and helps you fight off the cytomegalovirus. Now telomeres control how many times that white blood cell can replicate, split into two, and uh, replace itself. If the telomeres are short, it's done, the life of that cell is over. If it's still long, it can reproduce and keep making antibody-producing cells that help you fight that infection. And one of the interesting components of this was they found people with chronic cytomegalovirus uh, load in their system were much more likely to develop hypertension. So here's the connection. Supporting the immune system may play a role in treating hypertension in humans, and there's good evidence to suggest that. Isn't that fascinating? Cytomegalovirus. It's one of those double-stranded DNA viruses that we have great trouble getting rid of, like herpes and Epstein-Barr and shingles and all these terrible viruses. Astragalus helps to control. So by reason, if you're struggling with shingles, if you're struggling with mono, chronic fatigue, any of these double-stranded, hepatitis B is another double-stranded one, then astragalus may help you remarkably. And I've seen that clinically, personally. College of Life Sciences, astragalus protects the mitochondria from the effect of aging. Folks, don't ever forget, it's our damaged mitochondria that lead to chronic disease. Protect it. Astragalus is useful there. Australian complementary medicine called me metabolic cell support, MCS. And these are extracted beta-glucan-like substances from uh, letnin, reishi, shiitake, and turkey tail, along with astragalus. This is a combination product. This is our exception. And they, this combination, which you can closely replicate with the mushroom complex with astragalus. You're there, except for the turkey tail. You're there, and I like ours better. But that's my personal opinion based on evidence. It's proven to improve the immune response by increasing lymphocytes, natural killer cells. You get a better immune response. When you complement these things, your immune system wakes up and it helps you fight disease. Improves immune function in AIDS. Astragalus improves immune response to hepatitis B vaccine. If you have to take a vaccine, get the most out of it. Support your immune response with astragalus. Increases antibody production. It, improve, it inhibits herpes simplex virus, Coxsackie virus, and hepatitis C virus replication. This has all been done in China, proven. Promotes spleen production of B cells. They make antibodies, improves the antibody response, increases T lymphocytes and macrophages, inhibits viral replication, polysaccharides from astragalus enhance the immune function in those with chronic myelogenous leukemia. Widespread application to the cancers. 
improves immune function and AIDS. We said that. Sorry. Cardiovascular health. Let's move on quickly. There's so much to know. American Journal of Clinical of Chinese Medicine. American Journal of Chinese Medicine prevents the oxidation of cholesterol in artery walls. Dr. Sinatra, when he writes about astragalus, he says it strengthens the immune system, shows vasodilatory and anti-inflammatory action in the cardiovascular system. Without inflammation in the cardiovascular system, we are much less likely to have coronary artery disease and heart attack or stroke. All, if calm that inflammation, these things become much less risk. Decreases salt retention, we talked about that. It's a great natural alternative to a diuretic. Inhibits blood clot formation. It decreases chest pain in angina patients. That's remarkable. Add that to your CoQ10 L-carnitine, yeah, to your metabolic approach. Add the astragalus, it works. Lowers cholesterol and triglyceride levels. Uh, it reduces fatty deposits in the arteries, improves LDL cholesterol, increases HDL, relieves shortness of breath in heart failure, improves cardiac output and ejection fraction in heart failure. Multiple research centers improves cardiac status and symptoms of heart failure myocarditis, angina, hypertension. It is a mainstay herb for the treatment of cardiovascular. These um, astragalocytes improve cardiac contractility. Gets more force, more bang for your buck with each pump of the heart, and that improves the ailing heart. And it does it quite remarkably. Now, when we return, we're gonna talk about indications, who should take it, and how much do you need to take to benefit from astragalus. We'll be back. For centuries, the herb astragalus has been a staple of traditional Chinese medicine. It's used to create a strong shield, protecting the immune system. Astragalus is also used to support healthy heart and lung function. There's even more. Astragalus helps to calm total body inflammation, a common cause of pain and chronic illness. All of that without the use of medication. That's right. Support your health the way nature intended, with astragalus root. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Astragalus Root Extract. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net and see what Astragalus can do for your health. That number once again is 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Call today. I'm Dr. Richard Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Do you take medication every day without noticing any side effects? Well, new research finds that many of our most popular medicines, when taken over a long period, rob our bodies of precious nutrients. For example, statin drugs for cholesterol deplete CoQ10. Acid blocking drugs such as the proton pump inhibitors lower magnesium and vitamin B12. Gabapentin for seizures and chronic pain depletes vitamin D. And hydrocodone, a narcotic for pain, lowers melatonin levels, which can disturb sleep. These are all top 10 medicines in America. If you are taking a daily prescription medicine, Talk with your doctor about a vitamin and mineral deficiency as a side effect. For your health, at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. You may have heard the saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It's true. I'm Dr. Richard Becker. And I'm Cindy Becker. Autumn is a time of transition. It's the perfect time to renew your dedication to healthy living. This September, we're excited to bring you our fall savings celebration here at BioInnovations. Perhaps you've heard about the health benefits of supplements. In many cases, they can make a big difference. During September, Dr. Becker's Spa Nutrients are up to 40% off. Noni Natural Skin Care and Spa Therapy are 40% off. And Aloha Noni and Acai are still 50% off by the case. And you get free shipping with orders over $50 in the continental U.S. This is a good time to restart a program of nutrition, exercise, and supplements because an ounce of prevention really is worth a pound of cure. Order online or call 888-442-2128 and let BioInnovations assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. 
Your Health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back, everyone. Just a quick, quick reminder. It is fall saving celebration at BioInnovation, so don't miss it. Fantastic prices. Now, Richard, time is short. We yes. need to, we, we've just really covered a lot of information this show, which has been fantastic. Yeah. But now let's sum it up and see who would get the most benefit from adding astragalus to their nutri nutritional plan. Well, first, I want to refer back to the original Chinese indication to use astragalus is to stabilize the exterior, create a defensive shield, and prevent disease used to treat a pale face, extremity weakness, and dizziness. If you can keep that in mind, you'll get most of it. It's generally regarded as safe. It's a foundational herb that mixes well with other herbs. Cancer patients can benefit. Chemotherapy cancer patients. Radiation patients can benefit. Chronic fatigue, any type of viral associated chronic fatigue, Epstein-Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, herpes simplex, cytomegalovirus, shigella virus, that's the shingles, uh, excuse me, it's the varicella virus, is the shingles virus. Any type of intestinal dysbiosis, it also has antibiotic activity and yeast syndromes because yeast is hard for the immune system to fight off. Anything that boosts that immune response is going to help you with yeast. Lung problems, asthma, bronchitis, pneumonia, emphysema, Spleen problems. Remember all the immune system benefits. The spleen primes the production of antibodies, and astragalus helps to improve the antibody response. Recurrent infections of any type, whether it's a cold sore, recurrent urinary tract infections, bacterial fungal viral, hepatitis, cirrhosis, remember, protects the liver. Cardiovascular disease patients, heart failure patients. And it, this is really a, a perfect complement to the metabolic approach of Dr. Sinatra. The CoQ10, L-carnitine, D-ribose, magnesium, fish oil, put in the astragalus. You're going to get a pep in your step. This is what the research says, and it's good solid research you can count on, and you'll do it safely. Hypertension, angina, diabetes. Oh, don't forget the kidney improvement, astragalus and diabetes. Any type of dental problem, it's a natural diuretic that won't alter your electrolytes, and it's foundational to so many of the anti, you know, people all over the country, wealthy people are going to specialists, spending tens of thousands of dollars for agents to maintain their youthful appearance. Imagine actors and actresses. The longer they stay youthful appearing, the longer they're a marketable commodity. And you know what, folks? The stuff they tell them to do and have them do is the exact same things we talk about every day. If you pay attention, you can develop your own anti-aging program, and man, does it ever work. Now, how much of this stuff do you take? Well, our astragalus, each capsule contains a 470 milligrams. Three of those a day is the absolute minimum to receive a significant benefit from astragalus. So three capsules a day, that's the starting point. And if your problem's not too great, that will make a big difference for you. But if you're really, if your back is against the wall and you're really struggling with your health, you can take up to nine capsules or even more in certain situations. So anywhere from three capsules to nine capsules a day, that's about four and a half grams, five grams a day is your upper limit. I wouldn't go beyond that, not because it's so toxic or dangerous, be because it's not necessary. Unless your doctor is familiar with astragalus, that nine capsule a day should be enough for anybody who's watching this program to receive a benefit. And don't forget, it's one of those agents that you take a little every day over time to help create the defensive shield, keep the face bright and full of life, and the vim and vigor that we so associate with health and vitality and the quality of life that we're all searching for. Well, astragalus, it's one of the best. It's a foundational herb. It mixes well. It creates a strong exterior. And I want you to think about it. It may make a difference for you. Thank you so much for your kind attention today. We'll see you tomorrow right here at Your Health. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Christianity and the Bible were the guiding force behind the independence and representative form of government established in the United States. Starting from the very beginning of the formation of each state, Christianity was the foundation and pastors were the founders. 
the preachers encouraged the people to establish biblical rules by eliminating special privileges by kings, monarchs, and governors, and allow the governed to have a say in the government. The Bible, particularly Deuteronomy 1 and Exodus 18, became the standard for a representative-style government in the new colonies. Here is our proof. In 1619, Virginia formed a House of Burgess, consisting of elected people from the families. The first official government was not founded by